uh, smoke or haze. It's likely from that source, but it is going to be something we'll monitor, especially when it comes to wildfire risk. Not saying this is a wildfire, but it is rather dry and the rain chances that were present for the weekend at the beginning of the week are pretty much down to zero now. So we're going to continue with that drier spell and there's a moderate wildfire risk for the entire Big Bend region through the weekend. So you do have to use extra caution, maybe hold off on a bonfire if you must, because the conditions are not necessarily all that great until we can get some good soaking rain. That's not going to happen next couple days. Tonight we'll see the fog begin to layer itself across the area with lower visibility early in the morning, but at least it'll be a Saturday morning and hopefully folks don't have to go out for too many reasons early on. We'll stick with that south wind pattern, which may still keep some areas from getting extremely hot or breaking records. And then we'll just hit reset and do it all again on Sunday morning with more fog. Maybe more of a southwest wind pattern can set up on Sunday, maybe less of an onshore component, and that can maybe warm a few more areas up for your Sunday afternoon. But either way, both days looking pretty warm and both mornings, Saturday and Sunday, looking like we'll have some low visibilities with the fog that will begin to form a little bit before sunrise and then breaking a couple of hours after sunrise. So just keep that in mind for your early morning hours, both tomorrow and Sunday. Lows tonight ranging from the lower 60s across the Suwannee Valley to maybe upper 60s in the tri-state region, as well as coastal zones as the breezes break down somewhat, not as windy. But still, all that moisture flowing in is going to keep temperatures elevated at night. And then highs tomorrow, mid 80s for coastal zones, Interstate 10, upper 80s or so, and then maybe around 90 degrees for state line areas and the Suwannee Valley. So some of us can touch 90, even though it may be a struggle, depending on just how strong that south wind blows. And we're going to continue with the warmth right through Monday, but then we still have those signals in the extended first alert forecast for more rain and a pretty good front cold front coming in on Tuesday and Wednesday. So that will bring up our rain and thunderstorm chances. We're still monitoring for chances, maybe a few isolated strong storms late Tuesday, but then the rain subsides on Wednesday morning and temperatures fall a little bit into the 70s.